Um, does the fact that there's no harmonization of taxes in Europe, the fact that they're very disparate into very different countries, um, affect uh, contraband? And can the EU do much more or anything at all to, to help cigarette companies like yourself? So the, the, the problem is that uh, because of these different in taxes, difference in taxes, uh, the, the, there is a lot of uh, fiscal tourism which is developing now, and you can see that in, in the French figures. Uh, the French volumes have declined by uh, 24% during the, this first half, and of course, this uh, minus 24% are not due uh, only to uh, the, the, the stop in consumption. Th that means that uh, nearly half of it, uh, or roughly half of it, are due to uh, fiscal tourism. That means that French consumers, which are buying their cigarettes, either in neighboring country where prices are much lower, either by, uh, from smuggling. Uh, and you can see now in Paris, smuggling is developing. Then, of course, it is not a satisfying the situation for, for the government. And uh, that means that we need some kind of harmonization, perhaps in Europe, in the future, uh, some countries uh, having their prices uh, increased, but some countries having their prices decreased. Uh, because uh, if you consider the, the French and Spanish example, we are a Franco-Spanish uh, company, uh, the, 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 the French prices are, are quite a double of uh, the, the, the Spanish prices. One question I have is obviously the macro situation in France is very difficult due to the taxes, etc. Um, uh, that's not going to improve. It doesn't look as if it is going to improve. Um, what are you going to do on a micro level? Is there anything that Antares can do on a micro level? I mean, as, as far as restructuring is concerned, I see that you've started some sort of restructuring. Is there any more to come? Can you lay off any more people? Can you? What can you do at, on a micro level? Uh, you know, we are doing quite a lot. Huh? We have announced a very huge uh, restructuring plan in uh, July 2003. After one year of uh, process, legal process, social process, we have been able to, to decide exactly what was announced uh, one year uh, ago. That means that the factories will begin to, 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 to be closed now, with the latest one uh, closing in August 2005. That means 700 people uh, leaving the company, then that's quite a lot. In Morocco, for example, uh, because of a voluntary leaving plan, one third of the, of the people of the company are leaving now, voluntarily. And of course, in Spain, we have announced also a restructuring plan. Discussions are in, in uh, due course, and, and we hope a uh, uh, final result, uh, which would be in expectation of what we, we announce. But we are doing quite a lot. And uh, please let us uh, have uh, respiré a little bit <laughs> uh, before the before the next step. Um, I see you have a free cash flow this year of 749 million euros. That's a big increase from from last year. What how, what do you intend to do with this? Are you are you going to? I mean, I see you have a, uh, a taux de distribution of 52 percent. Are you giving 52 percent back to, to shareholders? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you intend to play these, uh, this, this free cash flow? Uh, we, we intend to continue our uh, distribution policy to our shareholders. We have a 52% uh, payout ratio uh, for dividends, and we intend to continue our uh, share uh, purchasing. And that means that we will do 4% of uh, share purchasing uh, this year, and we will back to our normal pace of 5% a year between July 2004 and July 2005. Uh, final question, perhaps. How do you see the acquisition, the, the, your Moroccan acquisition and your U.S. acquisitions? I see that basically um, there, there, was a, there was a serious issue here of uh, exchange rates, which which impacted um, impact, impacted the, your your acquisition, right? the, the revenues that you might have got on these two companies. I see minus thirty eight million euros as a, as a, as a uh, an exchange rate problem. Uh, yes, it's not uh, only uh, due to our acquisi acquisition, it's due to our business in the U.S. As you, as you know, we are world leader in the cigar business and we are a uh, U.S. leader uh, for the cigar market. And of course, a lot of our uh, sales are in dollars and then uh, we, are, uh, we are considering uh, the, the, the loss uh, of the dollar versus the, the euro. But this loss is a little lower than, uh, than last year, but uh, there is nothing extraordinary. Uh, concerning Morocco, I think that we are 
We're very happy of this acquisition, but of course it has, it has uh, brought us uh, 82 million euro of sales and 57 million euro of EBDA uh, during this first half. And that means that Morocco is totally on track, even uh, a little bit above our expectations, and, and we are very, very happy. That, that means that, you, you know, that's the validity of our strategy. We have acquired Morocco, and we, we, we can see this year that uh, the Moroccan acquisition can totally offset the decline and the effect of the decline of the French market. One final question. I, as a, as a human being, take a five steps back. I look at cigarette companies, I look at the demand for cigarettes, I look at what you know, uh, lobbies, com you know, lobbies are doing. Lobbying. In what way will your company, will Al Dhabi, survive these, these changes habits, tastes, in, 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 in government red tape, regulation, how, how are you, are you going to diversify, are you going to move away, are you going to do like the oil companies and move into renewable, I mean, what, what, can you, what can you do to prevent that, the ons onset of that? First, we are not a pure cigarette company, we are a, a company which, which has three uh, businesses, core businesses, which are cigarettes, of course, which are around 50% of our activity, cigars, around 25% and cigarettes and cigars are, are totally different businesses. Cigars are more luxury goods and uh, uh, are not uh, uh, corresponding to the same, same criteria than, uh, than, than cigarettes for the, for the future. And of course we are a logistic company for a quarter of our uh, activity. Then we are uh, different from the other uh, uh, tobacco companies that we are not only a cigarette company. And uh, if you are considering only cigarettes, you can say that uh, the market will uh, find a new uh, balance, a new equilibrium with a lowest uh, consumption, a lower consumption than, than uh, before, but higher prices and higher margins. And of course, with a lot of uh, developing areas where the tobacco consumption uh, could uh, be replaced from local brands, as it is now, by international brands, as we have in our portfolio. And then we will be able uh, to sustain our growth by taking uh, market share in the uh, growing uh, countries. That begs my last question. Obviously, your strategy is therefore to acquire smaller tobacco players in developing countries and markets that can develop. Um, are you looking at any other potential com uh, countries that might be of interest? No, we have, uh, we have acquired Morocco. We have acquired uh, Russia during this summer, uh, Balkan Star, which, uh, which uh, has the second uh, blonde uh, brand uh, on this market, and that's enough for the moment, but of course uh, I think it adds a lot to uh, our, uh, our uh, business.